They're literal like booty goals. No kicks. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a movie commentary for one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. It is absolutely legendary. No one can change my mind about how I feel about The Incredibles. I wanted to do a movie commentary for this for ages just because it's absolute perfection in my eyes. We haven't done a Pixar since, what was it? Mo Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. I think was our last Pixar. And I was just like, we need to add another one to the list because we haven't done one in a while. And this movie makes me so happy. It puts me in such a content mood. I love the voice acting. I love everything. We'll just, we'll, we'll chat about it as we're watching it. I, I was up and down so much trying to decide what to watch today. And I was like, what puts me in a really content, energetic, fun mood, and that is The Incredibles. Like, that is one of my go-tos. If you have not seen this movie, you, you, you should watch it. All right, um, I guess let's just jump onto this movie commentary. I am pumped. Also, we are so bloody close to 50K. Like, I don't talk about my subscriber count that often. Check out my Instagram just because that's where I'll probably ask for Q and A questions when we hit 50K, if we hit it. Super mega ultra lightning babe. That's all right with me. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> the best person, the best voice acting has to be Samuel L. Jackson in this. Frozone is iconic. Some of the most iconic lines. Brad Bird, thank you. Just like, thank you for this. And Michael G. Chino, thank you for the score. You're like my hero. The music's so bloody good in like so many Pixar movies, specifically this one. I love the old school spy Bond soundtrack and score. Love the spy vibe. It's so good. If only it was that easy to get dressed in the morning. <laughs> Holy shit, those guys could have literally died. He had swung outside the outside of the window. What if his spine just like snapped? That is a definite, definite lawsuit waiting to happen. I don't want your moves, your crime fighting style, favorite catchphrases, everything. I am your number one fan. We could share, you know. I work alone. Well, I think you need to be more flexible. <laughs> That is so sexy. Elastigirl is hot. Helen, yes. <laughs> oh, isn't that sky so beautiful? That sunset, blue skies and pink clouds. Like my ultimate color scheme, pink and blue. I just love pink and blue. If you can see from all those photos, I have a pink and blue theme in the background of my photos. Well, I finally figured out who I am. I am your ward. Incredible boy! You should really come up with your own name. Don't just take your name from someone else's name. Get some originality. Incredible boys, no. You'll outgrow it. Incredible boy! You're not affiliated with me! Holy smokes, I'm late. Uh, listen, I've gotta be somewhere. I've gotta go get married. Um, just give me one second. <laughs> hey, is the night still young? You're very late. How do I look? Showtime. Pink and blue again. Pink and blue, more pink and blue. Tell me how that's possible with you writing checks to every Harry Hardluck and Sally Sob story that gives you a phone call! Icon. Icon. Love him. Love him. But there's no tack on my stool before he moves and after he moves, there's a tack. Coincidence? I think not! <laughs> Maybe I could. They'd let me go out for sports. Honey, you know why we can't do that. But I promise I'll slow up. Why doesn't he just do a sport that that doesn't include speed? Why doesn't he just do a different sport? Everyone's special, Dash. Which is another way of saying no one is. Oh my god, I love Violet. She reminds me of m me in high school. That is just hilarious. That is actually so funny. Just like the contrast of his ginormous upper body to the car. <laughs> I 
love his pink bubble gum. Pink and blue, more pink and blue. I'm noticing so much pink and blue and this makes me happy. So how about you, Vi? How was school? Nothing to report. You've hardly touched your food. Tony Ridinger. Shut up. Well, you are. I said shut up, you little insect. Indeed, if we were having Tony Loaf. No, 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 What even was it sound? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's water, but it's also like spit. He's literally holding frozen spit water. Normal? What do you know about normal? The only normal one is Jack Jack, and he's not even toilet trained! <laughs> My favorite part of Incredibles 2 was Jack-Jack. That raccoon fight, that scene made me laugh so bloody much at the cinemas. To search up on YouTube, like that's, that scene, the specific, the raccoon, the raccoon, raccoon, like fight, it's so funny. It's so good. I'm probably gonna search that up after, after watching this, just, just to laugh. <laughs> I'm waiting to find the A113, what is it? There's like a code. And the van. I have to keep a look out for this. Freeze! I'm thirsty. I said freeze! I'm just getting a drink. I know. Freeze. Yes, Frozone. Oh. oh my god. He's gonna have major frostbite. Do you want to switch targets? Over. Trust me, this is the one he's been looking for. Mirage is just so just, I don't, I don't even know, like luscious. She's gorgeous. I love Mirage. Then let him actually compete. Let him go out for sports. I will not be made the enemy here. You know why we can't do that. I think one of the best things about this movie is the way that they explore the, the family dynamic and how ordinary they are, even though they are extraordinary. Usually when you watch something that's about families, like family dynamics and stories and relationships and that kind of thing, most of the time they're usually more dramas. But with this, they've literally got that aspect of it, but with superheroes. And it makes it so much more relatable to all the characters because there's some sort of aspect that you can identify with. It makes such a standard story so much more captivating and engaging to watch when the topic could be so just like mundane. We're supposed to help people. We're supposed to help our people! Starting with our stockholders, Bob! Who's helping them out, huh? Money, money, money. Money, money, money. A clock needs to be cleaned, well lubricated. Lubricated? So that cooperate by design. <laughs> I'm being metaphorical, Bob. Yes, I really, really hope that you're being metaphorical when you're talking about lubricating. He needs help. Do not change the subject, Bob. We're discussing your He attitude. is getting mugged. Oh my God, is that a split diopter shot? Holy shit, I've never noticed that. I have never, ever noticed that. Erase memories, relocate your family. Every time it gets harder. Money, 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 money. We, we can't keep doing this, Bob. Also be prepared for me to freak out about the cinematography later on in the video. That, that, that will happen. This message will self-destruct. Uh -oh. <coughs> Mission Impossible reference. Probably my top five franchise. In my top five franchise, Mission Impossible. That's why you should have a Kindle or audiobooks. So many people I follow do Audible, like, what, what's the word? What's the, what's the partnerships? I feel like this would be such an easy way to, like, subtly s slip in an Audible um, promo. <laughs> that, that machine? Diversity level not high enough, thank you very much. You need to be more diverse and more accessible to different um, body sizes. I love how he runs. How funny does he look when he runs? That's an abdominal obliques like workout. He twists his upper body so much when he runs. I think probably Tom Cruise has the best run. 
Has he got the best run? I mean, he runs so much in movies, so I swear he's probably been trained so much. <laughs> But what if he sat in there and then it stabbed him? He could literally just be sitting there and then all of a sudden it's just like slap, or through his back or through his chest. Oh my god, how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. Can we just like appreciate that shot? Love this montage. Just gonna turn that music up a bit. <laughs> If only we could get in shape within like a minute montage. Ah, oh, life would be so much easier. Yes, Edna. Yes. Yes, Edna. 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 But let us stick figures with poofy lips who think only about themselves. Poofy lips. Aunt Maudit, but Mary's dirty and you've torn right through it. What have you been doing, Robert? This is a hobo suit, darling. Oh, you can't be seen in this. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. You push too hard, darling. But I accept. Bold. Dramatic. Yeah. Heroic. Oh, the cape and the boots. No capes. Meta man. Express elevator. Diner guy. Snag on takeoff. <laughs> Splash down. Sucked into a vortex. No capes. Fine. I will also fix the hobo suit. When people talk about, like, top most iconic characters and like queen characters edna is up there i love her i just i just i just love her so so, 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 so much you'll be briefed on your next assignment in the conference room at two d wing room a113 two o'clock got it a113 room a113 there we go. we got it we got it come in one hour darling i insist okay okay goodbye She's just like, yep, yep, I'll see you soon. No worries, whatever I say goes. If I was Helen, I wouldn't even question Edna. I'm listening to you, you make the rules. Just tell me what to do and I will do it. Whoa, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's finally ready. Sure, it was difficult, but you are worth it. I mean, after all, I am your biggest fan. I'm Syndrome, your nemesis at it. Brilliant. Does he style his hair every single time? Does he look like put literal hairspray? Does he put gel? What does he do to his hair? It would not be good for you if you're putting gel and hairspray in your hair every single day. Words are useless. Come, 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 come. Too much of it, darling. Too much. Edna mode. <laughs> and guess. The fabric is comfortable for sensitive skin and can also withstand the temperature of over 1,000 degrees. Oh my god, another split diopter shot. Oh my god, I love it. Love, 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 love. Oh. How many people does Bob, like, injure and kill? Think about that. That guy would be dead. He threw a rock at his head. If they showed his face, it would look like the people's faces in Midsommar. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate shot. Yes, that fire, lava. <gasps> the wide angle, sh that wide angle shot. Oh, come on. With like animation, right? What they're able to do is mix up between depth of field. So like I've we've seen, we've seen like a couple of split diopter shots where you have focus further back and focus at the front. The camera use is just, I'm just completely realizing now how diverse it is. When I watch good movies that have amazing cinematography, I go on really, really long tangents and just can't stop talking about it. It's just so satisfying to look at. It looks so good. I'm such an idiot. I let this happen, you know. What are you talking about? Hmm? You are a last girl! My God, pull oh, yourself oh, together! Yeah. I'm the dash. The dash likes. Just a second. Da, da, da. 
I remember watching a breakdown of this scene or like a whole heap of like aviation scenes and apparently all of this dialogue is like legit dialogue. When it comes to anything that has specific like speci specialities or specific terminology or um, techniques when it's like correct it's the best. Kari. I also brought Mozart to play where he sleeps to make him smarter because leading experts say Mozart makes baby smarter. Chuck on classical music, guys. Anyone that says classical music is boring, you don't know your shit. <laughs> you may not find it interesting, you may not like it, but just give it a try. There are so many classic and modern composers that just make absolutely beautiful music. Do your research, guys. I promise you, you'll find someone that you love. India Golf 909 are transmitting in the blind guard. Disengage, repeat, disengage. Abort, abort, there are children aboard. Say again, there are children aboard this. No! Every single, every single time I watch that scene, I hold my breath. I like freak out watching it. Even though I know what's gonna happen, it's the editing, the fucking editing in that. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It just, it's too much for me to handle. <laughs> yes, yeah, superhero pose. Yes, Vi. She has such great character development in this movie, like coming into her own. Her character illustrates the whole coming coming of age sort of storyline. A rocket? Rockets explode! <laughs> Elastigirl seriously has the hourglass figure to the extreme. They're literal like booty goals. And it's so unrealistic. I can't be fucked putting in all of that effort. She is so strong. She picked up all of those guys. She literally has like super strength. Mom and dad's lives could be in jeopardy or worse, their marriage. She needs to sort out her priorities. Voice key incorrect. Wait a second. Chuckle? Amazing. Okay, quick question. If you could have any superpower, any superpower, what would it be? Mine would probably be telekinesis. I would love to be able to move things with my mind. How convenient would that be? You could just like lift things with your head and just move things around. Like I think that would be great. So useful in everyday life and I mean, you could do some awesome stuff with that. If I had to pick between the four of them, it would probably be Elastigirl dash a close second. You married Elastigirl? <laughs> and got busy! And when everyone's super... <laughs> No one will be. So caught up in the past that I, I... You are my greatest adventure. And I almost missed it. Character development for the win. Yes. Yes, amazing. Yes. Yes. Best scene in the movie. Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? <laughs> about the greater good. Greater good? I am your wife. I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get. What I didn't realize until recently was that Honey is actually Frozone's like wife's like actual name. I never knew that. And like no one will notice that unless you look into it and actually search up the characters on IMDb or something and like look up their names. Syndrome's remote. Go on! 
best thing. Civilians aren't out in public. The civilians have gotten out of the way. They're like, I'm going to get off this street. I'm going to get off this road so I don't get killed. Smart people. Oh. What a suit. Oh my God. Amazing Frozone. Yes. <laughs> Just like old times. Just like oh. old times. <laughs> yeah. Hurt then too. That was the best vacation ever! I love our family. I love your family too. One of the most badass, awesome families ever. <laughs> you took away my future. You took away my victory. <laughs> no! I did. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jack. <laughs> it's literally a demon devil baby in a diaper. <laughs> no capes, no capes, no capes. What a callback. Literally one of the most awesome ultimate callbacks in a movie. Where's Bubblegum Kid? Bubblegum Kid. Man. That was totally wicked! Do you think maybe you and yeah. I, you know, um, do you know? I like movies. A little presumptuous, Violet. Don't don't just like get a little ahead of yourself. What if he wasn't even asking you out? That'd be awkward. The Underminer! Yes, the Underminer. Cue the sequel. Cue the sequel. Yes, Brad Bird. Yes. Amazing. Edna Mode was voiced by Brad Bird. How did I, I, I did not know this. I love The Incredibles. It is such a good movie, such a good family friendly movie, such a good animated film, Pixar film, movie in general. I cannot see anything wrong with this movie, like at all. I think the sequel did have like some flaws, but I've only seen that once. I saw that, that at the cinemas, I've only seen it once. So I don't really remember much from it, like at all, I don't remember a lot. It looks great, it sounds amazing. I love the sound design, I love the score, I love the directing, I love the cinematography, just everything about this, the whole design and aesthetic. Pixar nails it, they nail it like every time when it comes to just the general look of the movies, majority of them are always great. I haven't seen every Pixar movie. I thought I would watch a movie that puts me in a happy mood, puts most of you guys in a happy mood. I assume a lot of you would have seen this already and if you haven't, just, it's for any age. It goes for like an hour 50, so it's not even that long of a movie. Like, just get some popcorn, sit down and just have a fun time watching it because it's so enjoyable. Well, let me know your thoughts on The Incredibles, whether you like the first or second more, what your favorite Pixar film is, what your superhero like superpower would be if you could pick one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.